This is a story about an old brass instrument held together with duct tape, devalued, discarded, gold lacquer once shiny, now dulled by dents and metallic scars. I came across this French horn while still in college. A friend gave it to me. He bought it at a garage sale for only $10 and didn't think it was worth anything or the effort to repair it. We decided it would be a good idea to flatten it the way pennies are sometimes flattened and hang it as art on a wall. I kept the instrument in my garage with this intention for over 25 years. Every once in a while, I'd take it out and play a few notes. Amazingly, the valves never froze up. But I always thought that one day I would flatten the metal. I just never got around to doing it. One day, I was decluttering for a garage sale and I decided to put the French horn out on the driveway with the other odds and ends to sell. It was sold before. I could sell it again. Someone asked to see the instrument. Did it work? They wanted to know. I fetched my mouthpiece and played scales to demonstrate that the instrument was still playable. Something pulled at my heart. I couldn't sell it! I apologized and put the case back up on the shelf. Several garage sales later, after repeating this scenario multiple times, I once again played the horn for someone who was interested in buying it. How much was it? At each garage sale demonstration, I found myself raising the price on the instrument. This time, I was playing the Titanic theme, a tune I would often play for my students. I felt my heart sinking with each note. I was deeply connected to this instrument. I decided in that moment to repair the old beaten up French horn. I took the old brass horn to a retired band director, a master in repair. He hammered out dents, he fired up a torch that welded pipes, brackets and braces back into place. He said that a Reynolds horn like this one built in the 1950s was one of the best ever made. The horn I at first devalued and wanted to crush was now a precious possession. Looks are often deceiving. Don't judge a book by its cover. Sometimes you may feel judged by the way you look, but on the inside, you have a heart of gold with unseen talents and abilities unique only to you. Just like your fingerprint will never be duplicated, you are one of a kind. As you grow and learn, you will find and discover the things you are good at. Your life is like an instrument. It can be left on a shelf or it can be practiced. Make beautiful sounds out of your life.